So we've just packed up all the tadpoles, the northern leopard frog tadpoles that we're taking out to release. Just heading off to YVR now to catch a private jet that's been kindly donated by London Air Services to take us all the way to Cranbrook where we can drive from there to release them. The jet's just landed at Cranbrook Airport and uh, we just got the uh, vehicles to transport the frogs up to, or the tadpoles up to the release site. So we're just all loaded in the car and heading that way now. So after our travel up here, we just uh, arrived at the marsh, Columbia Marshes, out uh, a couple of hours north of Cr uh, Cranbrook where we landed. I'm just going to take some pH temperature and conductivity readings of the wild site. So just pop this in there. Take these guys out and release them. They're more relevant. Yeah. Out to the, uh, let these guys go. Do you want to do the honors? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, just, um, they'll start jumping out. Basically. How many was in that one? Yeah. I want to make sure my stomach so I can get going. Let's get, yeah, let's get going. They should be floating in here, really. Point six and eighteen point one. Point four and eighteen point eight. Okay. What's the water at the bottom? Uh, the northern leopard frogs are highly endangered in BC. They're BC's most endangered amphibian. So there's ourselves, Calgary Zoo, uh, some BC government, and together we all form the leopard frog recovery team. Uh, so they've de declined dramatically due to habitat loss um, and pollution, as well as invasive species. Um, so they've got very isolated now, um, and their wild sites are under threat. Uh, the breeding was pretty reasonably successful. Um, it was a challenging year with the temperature being so cold uh, for so long. Um, the animals actually woke up a bit later and bred a bit later. Um, we were able to get some uh, egg successful egg masses, um, and we were able to come out here today and release. Uh, we were able to release around 390 tadpoles today and about 10 uh, small froglets. They're, they're just starting to metamorphose, get their front legs and lose their tail. Uh, we'll know if it's been successful when we start seeing reproduction out here in the wild um, and the numbers start increasing. We've, uh, there's been calling from males uh, the last, this year and last year. So they are surviving now to adulthood and becoming sexually mature. So hopefully in the next few years we'll be getting egg masses. Yeah, we're very grateful for um, everything London Air Service has done for us today um, and for the Calgary Zoo and the recovery team for meeting us out here um, and for all the effort they put in to helping acclimate the animals and um, lead the program basically. 
Um, we're glad to be a part of that and we hope for further success altogether in the future.